Now, Bible says he grabs, hurry him, he grabs the bride. He carries the thing that's carrying the boy. And the boy raises up again. He tells him, get up. And the boy dies. Hurry him, here it is. The first miracle. He stretched himself how many times? Second miracle, what did he do? He stretched himself what? Third miracle, what happened? They threw him on the bones of the dead man. Got up. Okay, Luke 7. Jesus touched the bride. Jairus' daughter, Jesus took the little girl by the hand. In Lazarus' situation, Jesus stood there and said, Lazarus, come forth. When Jesus says, it is finished, then that were dead in Christ got up from the dead and walked around Jerusalem. All of those situations required a man. All of those situations required a man to stretch. Required somebody to throw. Required somebody to stop. Required somebody to speak. All of them required human intervention. But there is one resurrection. Hey! That required no human intervention. Required no man-made manipulation. Required no help and no assistance. Nobody stopped the funeral procession. He raised up from the dead with all power in his hands. Without any men, without the help of any women, without the help of any angel, all we needed was for someone to move the stone so that they could see not glory, not so he could get out, but so that the disciples could get in. All he needed was angel hands. Angel hands. Angel hands.